So just to quickly summarize the features of the SAS Atmos Compact Modern Longbow, it's made of an aerospace grade T6 aluminum, which is CNC milled. It has deep flex composite limbs, which allow for a very smooth draw and no stacking that you would find on normal bows made of wood and other materials. The amazing thing about this bow is that it packs so light, it's almost futuristic. It's 2.6 pounds, but far more durable than most bows in its class that are twice the weight. It's incredibly accurate. It's fully customizable. You can add all the accessories, the quiver, the sights, the stabilizer, the arrow rests. It's incredibly easy to string. And in my opinion, it really is going to come to set the standard for what's expected in a modern long bow. I really think the lightweight and portable features of a bow like this are going to encourage a lot of hunters to take a more serious look at hunting with a longbow. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're doing a review for the Kickstarter campaign for the Survival Archery Systems Atmos Bow. If you do decide that you want to fund this campaign, I will post a link in the description. I think they've already exceeded their goal. There's a lot of people excited about this bow and we're gonna talk about the reasons why. So let's get to it. All right, so as you guys know, uh, we currently retail the SAS Recon and Tactical Bow Systems at CanadianPreparedness.com. The unique feature of those is that they're very durable. You can store the takedown arrows inside the riser itself, it, the limbs fold onto the riser. It's uh, one of the most comfortable bows to shoot as far as survival bows go, and you can achieve very high speeds, 200 feet per second. Now, I'm not an archery expert, so I'm just gonna give you my layman's perspective of this bow. I've been shooting bows for about six years now, off and on. Uh, my technique is crappy, and I in no way, shape or form, an authority in the field of archery. So I can just speak to this from an average Joe perspective. And I can say that the SAS Recon and Tactical Bows are fantastic bows. Functional, practical bows, which you can stow away very easily this is, it's just incredibly accurate. It's very much like a compound bow in the sense that, uh, in terms of the accuracy of it, once you, you know, dial in your technique, uh, you know, you, you focus on your anchor point, you keep your back straight, you make sure that you're not gripping the riser too tightly and focusing on your release and focusing on the target. I mean, you do those things, you're gonna get consistent headshots at 10 yards every time. It's, it's very hard for me to miss the target with this bow. Of course, it's a takedown recurve, but it's all CNC milled aluminum, the, the riser, and the limbs are made of a composite material, same limbs as are on the SAS Survival Archery Systems Recon and Tactical Bows. So it's made of, you know, man-made materials, which are gonna be much stronger than something like this, my PSC Mustang recurve bow, which doesn't pack as nicely because you have those curved limbs. This recurve bow, the way it's designed to prevent stacking, uh, Survival Archery Systems has accomplished a design which is going to minimize that stacking problem and give you many of the same benefits of a recurve bow without having to lug this thing around. Now this thing is a takedown. As you can see, this is a lot heavier. It's a lot bulkier. And of course, this is how it's gonna pack with this wicked curve. These pack flat. So it's much easier to pack this. So it doesn't come with this stabilizer. I put that stabilizer on there. It just helps you to keep the bow a little bit more stable because this is a light bow. It's, it's very, you can shoot this thing all day. It's very comfortable, very ergonomic. It's got some holes in here to cut down on the weight. I'm sure if I was able to put a couple more days on this thing, I would be consistently hitting the mark at between 25 and 35 yards. 20 yards, I'm always getting body shots. 10 yards, I'm always getting head shots. 
30 yards, I'm getting the odd bod body shot and occasionally I'll get a head shot. So that's pretty good for me as I'm not a professional archer. Um, even moving shots, strafing shots, you know, I'm, get, I'm hitting those. The survival archery systems is trying to get away from just making survival bows and they want to branch out into the broader archery market. And so that's why they made this bow. This is not uh, not just for survival, although it very well could be because it packs down very nicely, but it's also built for the everyday hunter. So if you're a person who likes to hunt or if you're an avid uh, archer and you just like collecting bows, this is gonna be one I'm sure that you're gonna wanna have in your collection. And now the arrows that I'm using, I should also add, I didn't realize until today, but these takedown arrows, they fit perfectly in the bug out roll. Uh, we sell these at CanadianPreparedness.com, these takedown Easton arrows. And I've probably shot these things a hundred times each. I have been using the same set of three. I did bend one up today pretty bad and it wasn't from the shooting. It was that it lodged so deep into the bottom of a tree that where it was very sappy that it just would not come out. So I had to do the whole twist a -roo thing and I was, I bent uh, one side of it. But the great thing about that is you can bend it back with the right tools. And what I've noticed with these arrows, I've used aluminum arrows before and I didn't like them because I found that they were big and bulky and heavy and they didn't shoot as well as carbon fiber arrows. These are actually surprisingly light, even though they have this insert in there. And what I've noticed, I actually think that these takedown arrows are better than the longer arrows because I would always have a problem with aluminum arrows warping. If you hit a, a target and the, for whatever reason, it didn't dig in and it bounced off, because there's two pieces instead of one, uh, there's less of a weak point in the middle. So there's less flexibility there. And thus it's much harder to warp something this size. I used to be a big fan of carbon fiber arrows, but ever since I've been shooting these Easton arrows, man, I've really taken a liking to them. I've, like I say, I've put them through a lot of abuse. The fletching is still on there, very tight. I'm just using a plastic rest right now. I'm not sure what it's called, but I really like the rest. I like it much better than the bare uh, rest that comes with the uh, recon and SAS tactical bows. But these arrows are great. So if you want to pick some of these up, CanadianPreparedness.com, that's where we sell the bug out rolls as well. But I would strongly encourage you, if you are somebody who's really into archery, check out this bow. It really is a fantastic bow. And if I was ever to hunt with a recurve bow or a takedown bow, a long bow, it would be this. Absolutely, it would be this. Because you can put all your accessories on there. You can put the quiver, you can put the stabilizer, you can put the, uh, the sights and all the rest. So this would absolutely be something that I'm going to really try to dial in and I'm gonna get some sights on here to see if I can really get dialed in with this bow. Uh, once it goes over 20 yards, uh, getting, getting my shots on uh, my altitude right is challenging. And that's where sights would really come in handy. So yeah, go check out the link in the description, the SAS Atmos bow, uh, another great evolution of archery right here. So go check it out. Thanks for watching, Canadian Prepper out.